It's important to note that the quality of life in a particular place can be subjective and can vary based on individual preferences, experiences, and circumstances. Additionally, labeling a place as the worst can be overly negative and may not accurately represent the overall situation in a given area. However, if you're looking for information on areas that might face certain challenges, here are top 10 worst places to live in the USA that have been associated with socioeconomic difficulties or crime rates. Number 10. New Orleans. The murder capital of the South, New Orleans, is experiencing a severe homicide crisis. In 2021, the city had a shocking murder rate of 40 per 100,000 citizens, making it more likely to be killed than to be fed a good po' boy sandwich. Drug and gang violence fuel a never-ending cycle of murder on New Orleans streets, resulting in regular homicide investigations where chalk outlines are widespread. The city's economy is heavily reliant on tourism dollars, which evaporated during Hurricane Katrina, leaving a $500 million debt. Rising water levels caused by climate change could potentially flood areas of New Orleans by 2050. Unfortunately, city officials lack viable solutions or evacuation plans, and corruption in local government impedes recovery efforts. With an unclear future, New Orleans has earned a spot on the list of the most unlivable cities in 2023. Number 9. Hartford, Connecticut. Hartford has gilded age palaces and poor ghettos within blocks. Hartford's donut hole was created as the wealthy incorporations moved to suburbs. Downtown Hartford is squalor while the suburbs thrive. Minorities live in an underclass in the city due to racial and class imbalances. Hartford's tax base has decreased due to the departure of big employers and wealthy citizens, leaving it bankrupt and unable to deliver basic services despite high property taxes. Hartford's deconstruction of the school board for contract rigging shows incompetence and corruption. Once rich, the city now has crumbling infrastructure, low test results, and glaring social inequality. Hartford is a prime example of urban ruin, with crumbling civic institutions and a wide wealth gap. Number 8. Youngstown, Ohio. In Youngstown, a Rust Belt ghost town, every business closure without a reopening has dire consequences. A steel-producing metropolis with 170,000 population, Youngstown has decreased to 64,000 over the decades as residents leave. Steel plant ruins show that the city's economic decline has deprived people of dreams and work. Finding a good job is like citing a unicorn with unemployment at 7% double the national average. The remaining residents live in rundown communities with overgrown grass and broken windows and porches. Derelict businesses and payday loan organizations have replaced busy downtown buildings. Once an industrial powerhouse, Youngstown is today the Rust Belt's most depressed city, with reminders of the past. Number 7. Camden, New Jersey. Camden is America's most deadly city, where even walking your dog can endanger your life. Camden's streets are controlled by over 175 open-air drug markets, run by highly armed gangs reveling in joyful violence with the highest violent crime rate in the country. With a homicide rate nearly 10 times the national average, gunshots are just background noise. Overburdened cops frequently avoid responding to shooting calls. The city resembles a third world country with about half of the people living in poverty, failing infrastructure and widespread illiteracy. Camden's constant economic struggle, corruption and lack of even basic facilities create a situation in which home becomes ground zero for American violence. Number 6. Flint, Michigan. Flint is still dealing with the aftereffects of its poisonous water disaster. The city's pipes rusted as a result of the 2014 switch to the Flint River, polluting the water with brain-damaging lead. Clean water remains rare, nearly a decade later requiring communities to rely on bottled water for daily essentials. 
over 9,000 children were exposed to lead poisoning as a result of the disaster, which caused lasting health harm. The city's deterioration is evident, with abandoned residences accounting for 20% of all properties. The shutdown of the General Motors facility in 2019, which displaced 5,000 people, worsened unemployment and violence, transforming Flint from an automotive hub to one of the most devastated cities in America. Number 5. Baltimore, Maryland Baltimore is well known as the East Coast's homicide capital. With 325 murders in 2021 alone, the city resembles a battleground, with war zone-like violence rates. While the understaffed BPD solves only 31% of cases, drug gangs hold unrestrained authority, continuing torture, murder, and intimidation. With one in every four individuals living below the poverty line, crippling multi-generational poverty traps, residents in an unbroken cycle of sorrow. Corruption scandals, including Mayor Catherine Pugh's Healthy Holly, exacerbate the situation. Baltimore has been bankrupted due to rampant nepotism and fraud, as well as decades of corruption, rendering it unable to afford essential services. Baltimore is the most dangerous and dismal city on the East Coast, with a failing infrastructure, schools, and a pervasive sense of dread. Number 4. St. Louis, Missouri. St. Louis is America's metropolitan dystopia, a warning of decay and sadness. Once a thriving metropolis, its population has decreased by over 60% since the 1950s, illustrating Rust Belt decline. Overgrown streets, abandoned buildings, and a high murder rate paint a dismal picture. Residents leaving find a crumbling ruin with more stray dogs than people. In the city with the greatest murder rate, 59 per 100,000, more than double Detroit's roving gangs threaten safety after midnight. Overburdened police make only 4% of gunshot arrests, and crater-filled highways lack justice. St. Louis is one of America's bleakest cities, with bombed-out buildings, a dystopian look, and near-total social disintegration due to decades of racism and white flight. Number 3. Memphis is called Criminal Central because it has more than 2,000 violent assaults and 175 homicides every year, more than a maximum security prison yard, armed robberies, violent beatings and gang violence plague the city's streets, compounded by one in four residents' poverty. Entertainment stars like Elton John wear protective jackets on stage. While the metropolitan skyline shines, crime has turned neighborhoods into wastelands. Memphis' lowest-ranked Tennessee schools offer grim prospects. The city is struggling with unemployment, a faltering economy, and social unrest as industry collapses. Memphis is the third most dangerous city due to its lawlessness. Number 2. Cleveland, Ohio Cleveland earns the grim title The Mistake on the Lake, symbolizing its descent from a prosperous industrial hub to a post-apocalyptic scene, with a staggering 30% poverty rate and a meager median household income of $30,000. Cleveland's economy resembles a coma patient on life support. The city's Arctic winters match the frigidity of job prospects, while high taxes and living costs 21% above the national average drive residents away. Countless blocks of abandoned homes add to the urban decay, depicting Cleveland as a rust belt has been grappling with economic decline and population loss, securing its place as the second bleakest city on our list. Number 1. Detroit has transformed from a prosperous motor city to America's homicide capital. With a murder rate of 40 per 100,000, which is 10 times the national average, the city's crumbling streets resemble Grand Theft Auto. The economic collapse has left 40% of the population unemployed and impoverished, and hazardous schools and basic services have vanished. 
population has fallen 63% since 1950, leaving abandoned structures and urban wilderness. In 2023, Detroit, now an open-air prison, will be America's worst city. Despite neglect and intolerance, these stories of crime, devastation, and crumbling economies highlight the need for revitalization.